As a presenter, or someone that's going to speak into the webinar, um, when you first log in, your screen will look something like this. Um, and uh, for purposes of, of the tutorial, you're the test presenter. Um, so that's what we're watching. Um, these are um, connection numbers to use your telephone to get the audio and uh, voice and project your voice through your telephone receiver. Um, it, this is only active if, if you call the number. Otherwise, by default, um, when you're not yet a presenter, you're going to hear the conference through your computer speakers by default. Um, and if you want to hear them through the phone, you can call this number. But once I make you a presenter, this, this information is going to change. Uh, and so you don't want to call in yet at this point if you're going to. So I'm going to go ahead and make this person a presenter. And what you'll notice has happened is the test presenter now has audio and video controls. Uh, by default, they're off. Um, but you're going to need to turn them on if you're going to either project your webcam or your voice into the conference. So in order to begin talking into the conference, what you'll do is um, you'll notice the audio controls that are right here. If you want to use your telephone receiver to talk and to listen to the conference, this is the point where you'll hit that drop down and choose Use Telephone. And now you're going to notice that a phone connection comes up and gives you a phone connection and a pin to call in. And this way, you'll hear and project your voice into the conference through your phone. Both of those will work. Um, this is the, uh, the direction that we recommend speakers um, and conference presenters go through because um, it's just a little more stable of a connection. Um, you also have the option of using your mic and speakers, which again is a little a little less stable but once you do this once you once you choose to use mic and speakers um, Adobe Flash is going to ask for access to your uh, to your microphone and your uh, webcam or any kind of camera equipment that you have attached to your computer you'll say allow and what you'll, and what you'll, and what you'll, what you'll so you'll notice that uh, you now have a way to mute yourself or turn yourself on. Uh, green is on and you'll notice there's an on-air button that comes uh, or you can turn yourself off um, and again this is with your computer speakers. Um, if you choose to go the telephone route um, that's always there for you um, and then this control will change to a phone um, but it won't be something that you can mute or unmute um, that you'll have to do on your actual phone. Um, and then your video works the same way. It's not on by default, but if you click it on, um, it can't find my camera right now because actually the other version of me has the camera. Um, but it will find your camera, and um, this is where you can turn your, your video or your webcam on or off. And you can also choose to just use an avatar or just a picture representative of yourself. Um, or you can capture a picture from your camera if it can find it. There, it found my camera. And again, you'll notice you can turn that off or turn it back on. And that sums up the audio and video controls for the webinar.